Paul, are you homeless? Tell me about it. Why are you homeless, you think? Uh, <clears throat> I had a surgery and uh, I okay. got a ticket. Yeah, uh, DUI in, uh, say, about four years ago. I quit drinking two years ago. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's like a domino effect. Down. That's a lot of stories like this. What I'm hearing about the ho some homeless right. is that it's a do something happens, it's traumatic, and then it's just a domino effect, and, and you end up homeless. And it, I mean, it's hard to get back up. It really is. I mean, I've got no ID, no social, so if you don't have that, you don't exist. Uh, right, you have no idea, and so you don't exist. And, you know, as far as up, I'll try to pick up sidewalk, you know, under the table. That's what I've done for 25 years. I was working under the table doing dial, and now I'm screwing myself up. <laughs> wow, yeah. Right, exactly, yeah. You work off the books, and then there's no record of it. Yeah. Right, so it ends up being a detriment yeah. instead of a blessing. Like, yeah, that's... So So tell me more. So how do you... Where do you sleep, maybe? i got a tent. i got a tent set up on the railroad tracks. Okay. So why don't you go to the shelters? I'm just curious. It's, it's not, dangerous. It's not the people that are around the place. It's the people that are in. Right. And it's just a bad element. And they, they abuse it. Um, I don't think that they, they, they appreciate it. And they come, they just, I don't know, I just don't like it. One, if you get in the middle of the winter, and if it's a foot of snow out of the ground, they're kicking you out at 530 in the morning in the middle of town. Where are you going to go? Right, right. So, so this this grade you're clean and sober. Mo, uh, or if a lot of homeless have a substance abuse problem. Is that correct? You think? Right. I don't know how they do it. Right. Because wintertime would have killed me. Oh, man. And you think you're getting warm by drinking yeah, when it's really killing you, man. Right. So, what's your name, man? I, I, I mean, I'm, I panhandle and I'm, they take it to go to jail and I come back out. And it's just, once you start, they get. You said you jail. went to jail? Yeah. So, they, what happened? They uh, throw you in jail for panhandling. They said it's. Uh, oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, they put you in jail for it. I did it. Maybe 30 years ago, myself. Right, because I've seen like stuff strew, strewn about, you know, like it was just left there. So yeah. I'm, that's what I'm assuming is some they had to leave for, you know, like jail maybe or something else. Right. Yeah. Wow. But now they don't do it. I mean, I'm glad they don't. But, uh, it's just it's bad. <laughs> wow, crazy. I mean, now that there's the heroin addicts. Uh, yeah, the heroin has become a lot more popular now because it's maybe cheaper now. Yeah, it's you know? killing people bad. So how old are you, my man? 53. 53, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just about 60, yeah, myself. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's hard. The older you get it, the harder it is. So, Yeah, I understand that. What's your name, my friend? John. John. Meet John. How are you doing, John? Don't forget. I'm Eric. Wow, that's great. Yeah, give me a handshake. That's great, man. I appreciate the, the interviewing. Getting yeah, us a little uh, more knowledge of what some of the homeless are going through. So we're gonna we're gonna YouTube that. Okay, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. All right, man.